Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lilo, and today we're talking about the legendary greatness of Khabib. And guys, stay steady in the pursuit of your dreams and goals. You're all made for greatness, you're all made to win, and I really believe in you guys. Keep up the great work each and every day. Now Khabib, here's the honest truth, the man is a hero. He is such a legend, it's not even funny. It goes beyond the words that I can describe in this video. Here's the thing that comes to mind right away. He is extremely humble, and it's hard to be that humble when you are as legendary is him. I believe that right now the UFC has the best fighters that have ever fought in all of history because they've been building up on previous martial artists becoming more and more efficient, becoming better and better. Everybody is like a blue belt in jujitsu now and everyone's just insane, insanely good. And in that time of UFC, Khabib went in, never lost. I'm not sure this is 100% accurate, but I see this in a lot of YouTube videos. People say Khabib never even bled. No one was able to draw blood from Khabib in any of his fights. If that's actually true, the man is pretty much Goku in real life, okay? Because like, how can you be that great at this? He does things that just baffle my mind in his fights. Like he said in an interview, when he was fighting Justin Gaethje, a literal monster, he is such a good fighter. Khabib was fighting him, and I believe he had Gaethje in an arm bar. And he said this in an interview with uh, Henry Cejudo. He said, you know, Gaethje is a really tough guy. I didn't think he would tap out, and I didn't want to break his arm in front of his family. So I let him go and then I put him into a choke and, and submitted him. I, I, and, I'm, and it's like, are you kidding me? How can a person be this good of a guy? How? It doesn't even make sense. That's one thing. The other thing is to be that skilled that you can choose how you're going to defeat Justin Gaethje doesn't even make sense. I have no idea how, how Khabib was this good at fighting. It just, it defies logic. And, and the thing is this, he would fight the best people in the world and maul them. That's That was Joe Rogan's terminology, mauling. You, he would maul people. And it was just, he out wrestled everyone in this era of UFC where nearly everybody ha is like a blue belt or a brown belt or a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Like if you're a black belt in jiu-jitsu in UFC, it's not even considered like a major deal anymore because it's so commonplace for people to be excellent grapplers. And in this era of excellent grappling, Khabib mowed everyone down with excellent grappling. <laughs> it's like, and honestly, Khabib, he had a similar effect on grappling and jiu-jitsu that the Gracies did back in the beginning of UFC. When UFC was first starting, the Gracies were pretty much the only ones who knew how to grapple, and they whooped everybody with just grappling. But that was because everyone's grappling was almost non-existent when the Gracies were fighting. Now we're in an era where everybody's great at grappling, and in this era, Khabib still mauled every grappler. It's insane, man. He's a living legend, and it's like, he's the total package fighter. He's just an incredible fighter. He never trash talks people, and he's just humble. And I'm happy to see Khabib be the, the legendary success that he is. It's kind of like just seeing the good guy win. That's the feeling you get from Khabib. It's like, this man was humble and kind. And one of the biggest things, one of the biggest testimonies of his character. So this is my understanding that I've heard from interviews. Khabib stopped fighting in the UFC because it was stressing out his mom. Can you believe that? That a guy's that good of a human being? If you think about it from his position, he whooped everybody. Nobody in that division even came close to beating him at all, ever, ever. He never even came close to losing. He easily could have went on to keep fighting, could have fought another 10, maybe 12 more times even, and won all of them, guaranteed almost, almost guaranteed. And he would make millions upon millions upon millions. If he kept fighting, he could have made like tons and tons of millions of dollars. And he turned all that down just because it was stressing on his mom. The man is a living legend. He has the character of just an amazing like samurai, man. He's he's incredible. And he's made wrestling and jujitsu much more popular because people look at Khabib and they're like, oh wow, Khabib's grappling is insane. I wanna, I wanna be able to grapple like that. To sum it all up, guys, in a time period where UFC had possibly the most skilled and dangerous fighters that they've ever had, Khabib went in and dominated them, absolutely manhandled them, and then chose to stop dominating them just so that his mom would not be stressed out. He's a living legend. And it literally doesn't even sound like a real person would do that, but he did, and it's amazing. He's a big benefit to all of UFC. He's added a lot of value to UFC just by being himself. And he's added a lot of value to jujitsu and grappling and Sambo just by being himself because he's brought a ton more exposure to Sambo, a ton more exposure to grappling. Like a lot of people searched Khabib grappling or Khabib Sambo and it'll just be a random Sambo video with a million plus views and it's because Khabib. And he's really made a big positive impact in UFC, Sambo, jujitsu. I'd, I'd say all grappling arts so wrestling too but yeah guys that was everything i wanted to say 
Thank you guys for watching and you have a great rest of your day.